Okay, this is somewhat of a replication of Lid Motors frog hair motor, and I'm calling this the MMG. It's slightly different, but the MMG refers to Minnesota Mountain Goat. And the basic story is that when I came over here to the USA, my wife lived in Minnesota and it's completely flat. Uh, the area is flat pretty much, so I decided on uh, a name for very thin wire and to say it's thinner than the hair from a Minnesota Mountain Goat because they don't exist. So anyway, this version is based on these dancing toy things you can get from dollar stores and uh, I took the coils out of several of them. That's the size of a coil there and they measure about 500 ohms. I then stacked four together and that gives 2k. So what we've got is the the same setup that the motor had and you can see his channel I'll put links and things at the bottom of the in the description box for all this but uh, yeah see his uh, latest video with the uh, the frog hair motor and you'll see the wiring diagram and it runs along quite nicely from the power source which is this lamp and what I've got is a hard disk drive platter that's picking up the energy the emissions from the CFL light I've got that big heat sink there as a ground plane I'm using a circuit here that uh, Inventor 3 made quite popular, which is a scavenging circuit. And then it goes through to a 470 UF capacitor. I've done a small change to a lead motor circuit in that from the collector I've got a diode and then in series with that I've got a 0.1 UF ceramic capacitor. And that, uh, if you put the directly the diode across back to the positive um, of the power source, it'll kill the motor. But this way is more like um, audio systems, where you can isolate the, uh, the returning power. So anyway, the point of all this is that it's running from about 1 volt, almost exactly 1 volt, and it's using, there you go, 10.3 microamps. And I was delighted, I just wanted to get to about the 40 microamps of lead motors design. I think maybe it's down to the MPSA 18 more than anything. Uh, I was using a MPSA 06. But uh, yeah, 10.3 microamps. So now I'll show you it running outside in the dirt. Here's another idea. I don't know if it's going to work yet, but uh, got the motor out here. Magnesium fire starter in the ground. Copper heatsink. See if we can run it off dirt because we've got 1.5 volts showing. So I haven't tried this yet. This is all. Oops. Excuse me a moment. All live testing. Let's see what happens. Put that over the top in case of any wind. 1 1.353. Not dropping heavily, and the rotor's going. And you've got Charlie the cat looking on as well. That's a running motor there from dirt. I know it's only galvanic, but uh, <laughs> I quite like that. 1.336, That motor's definitely going. <laughs> okay. Returning back to it half an hour later. Still spinning away very nicely indeed. And it's pretty much settled down 1.2 volts, isn't it really? There we are, it's not moving. So there we are. Running nicely indeed. Okay. Thanks for watching.